A special parliamentary committee to reform the state spy agency held a public hearing today. They discussed whether the National Assembly needs to strengthen its oversight of the agency's budget as part of a broader plan to overhaul the agency. Our Kim hyun reports. Currently, the National Intelligence Service discloses the size of its budget to the Parliament's Intelligence Committee without giving a detailed breakdown or supporting documentation for its expenses. A law professor who attended Tuesday's hearing told lawmakers that that has to change if the NIS is to be reformed. The Parliament's Intelligence Committee should be able to exercise control over the spy agency's budget. The NIS should submit to the Intelligence Committee documents that enable a practical and detailed review of the spy agency's budget. But Professor Lee Jae-kyo of Sejong University said reform of the spy agency must get at the root of the problem, which he says has to do with the staff, not the budget, and said former NIS director Won Se-hoon is to blame. Won is currently on trial for allegations that he ordered NIS agents to stage an online smear campaign in favor of the conservative ruling party candidate in the run-up to last year's presidential election. Former NIS chief Won Se-hoon mistook the progressive left wing and the pro-North Korea faction as one, and that was the root of the problem. For instance, Won told NIS agents that those who support free school meals here are North Korea loyalists who receive orders from Pyongyang. He also ordered the NIS to launch a war on the Internet, saying that the Internet is being occupied by North Korea followers. However, others argued the issue with the spy agency is more of a structural problem. They say the spy agency's power and influence in Korea is disproportionately large. The NIS reports directly to the president, and the current law authorizes NIS agents to not only collect and compile intelligence, but investigate crimes of insurrection or rebellion. The power to investigate must be separated from the spy agency because the authority is a fundamental right of the executive branch. Taking these views into consideration, the special committee will start deliberating on how to amend the spy agency law to carry out the necessary reforms Wednesday. However, the process is expected to be tough as the rival parties are wide apart on what the scope of the reform should be. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.